Hello, and welcome to Viewpoints. I'm talking to Sunan Khan, epidemiology analyst for the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health and a new alumnus of the CHDS master's program. Sinan, welcome and congratulations. Thank you, and glad to be here. We're here to talk a little bit about your research. You did some very interesting research. In fact, your thesis is entitled Multi-Attribute Decision Analysis in Public Health, Analyzing Effectiveness of Alternate Modes of Dispensing. Can you give us a good overview or summary of your research? Sure. Uh, one of the biggest problems that we have in public health is um, we have to pro prophylax our entire population within a public health jurisdiction within 48 hours after a bioterrorism event. The problem is in large jurisdictions for, such as Los Angeles County, you have 10 million people living there. Uh, the other problem that you might have in smaller jurisdictions is you have very limited staff, limited security, uh, limited resources in general. There are alternate modes of dispensing that are being used in a lot of jurisdictions throughout the United States. Our goal was to go through, do a thorough literature review and find out what were the 10 best alternate modes of dispensing that were being used and considered best practices. And using these alternate modes of dispensing, we decided to set up criteria to evaluate the best alternate modes of dispensing across the board and create a tool that would help health departments throughout the United States to implement an alternate dispensing plan. So no matter what your specific results to Los Angeles County, mm -hmm. and no matter what criteria one wishes to use, uh, other departments of public health could use the template. Yes, that was the, go that was the goal of this thesis. What were your findings for LA County? Well, our findings for LA County were, uh, we had to create two distinct models. And that was to, cre that was to maintain integrity between, uh, between, different modes, between different alternate modes of dispensing. The problem was there were some alternate modes of dispensing that, that catered to the general population, and then there were some that catered to specific subsets of the general population. For example? Uh, for example, our, uh, pharm the pharmacy dispensing option. The pharmacy dispensing option caters to the general public. Anyone with living within Los Angeles County or there for a vacation could just go to any pharmacy that, ha that has a contract set up with the Department of Public Health to pick up their medication. Um, on the other hand, there are certain options, for example, the sheltered in population option. Only, only sites that are considered sheltered in, for example, nursing home, assisted living facilities, would be able to get their medication. The problem, in, the problem we encountered in multi-attribute decision analysis, which is the technique we used for our, for our analysis, was there has to be independence between criteria. And so we could not use maximum number reached as seen in the latter model, which caters to a specific subset, versus speed in the same option because they overlap. Mm. So we had to create two different models, one that catered to the general public and one that catered to uh, a subset of the population. In Los Angeles County, in model A, which catered to everybody, we found out that uh, the pharmacy option was the best option. And uh, on in the latter half, in Model B, we found out that using the Kaiser Permanente option to dispense medication was the best option in Los Angeles County. What are the next steps for implementation of your findings? Well, one of the first things that we're going to do in Los Angeles County is expand the survey. And for example, um, for the purposes of this thesis, the survey was only administered to the Los Angeles County Force Protection Committee members. Besides the Force Protection Committee, there are a lot of other partners. Uh, for example, we have the, uh, emerg the BT Operations Committee, the Emergency Preparedness and Response Committee. So we want input from all committee members across the board that are essential partners in our response. Um, using their input in the surveys, we will, we will expand this model, refine our results, and move on to the implementi implementation phase. One of the things in Los Angeles County that we are looking into for implementation is using BENS. BENS is uh, Business Executives for um, National Security. Mm. It's a very popular organization in the East. Um, and they are beginning to expand in Los Angeles County. Since most of the alternate dispensing require input from the private sector, BENS would be a great partner that we could tap into to bring major businesses or ma sheltered in population sites or other private partners, for example, hotels and resorts, together for us to explain 
our scope and strategy too at, in one session. So it sounds like the kinds of partnership and, and buy-in you require mm -hmm. actually make this research or the template uh, a very effective vehicle for establishing partnerships. Yes, definitely. Sinan, thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thanks, Lauren. Great to be here. Thank you.